that lighting is really not doing me any favors, but um, hello everyone, I am in my car. And I wanted to talk about Stay With Me by Becky Wade, not that you can see it. You probably all know what it looks like. I'll show a better uh, picture of it when I am not in my car, but this is the literally the only chance I've had to talk in so long. Basically, I got a job. I got a full-time job. And so that has been taking over most of my time. I have not been able to read as much. I haven't even been watching YouTube that much. Like, I'm behind on so many videos. So if I am a regular commenter on your videos, I'm sorry if I haven't watched it yet. Um, I have a huge watch later that I need to go through and re or watch um, a bunch of videos. So don't think that I'm just like not watching your videos anymore. And yeah, and then also I have made time to read every night, but it's like not a lot of time. So I'm not getting through books as quickly, but I'm so blessed to have this job. It's been a huge blessing for me. It's also a ton of work because it's a whole new grade level that I've never taught before. I'm teaching um, a split grade as well, so I'm teaching five grade five and grade six, and so it's just all new to me. I'm also at a new school. Just everything is new, and it's a very big learning curve for me, plus all of the COVID stuff as well. Um, again, sorry about the lighting, guys. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a balance with work and personal life still but oh, I am so sorry about this you've seen worse right <laughs> I knew that I wanted to read stay with me this month no matter what so I forced myself to make time to read a little bit of it every night and I'm now um on page 200 so a person just fully watched me um be recording myself so well, so I am just loving this book it is written, I feel like Becky Wade's writing is getting better and better as she goes. Like, her characters are just so complex and the struggles that they have are like real life struggles that you would see in a person. Like, the, the people feel like people and also her dialogue is so funny. Like, she also has a very comical spin to her books. So that's been fun. Um, oh, maybe that was not good. Would definitely recommend this book i like it i'm about halfway through it so i'm gonna try to read a good chunk of it while i'm waiting in this lineup yeah it's pretty great the sun is just beautiful right can i even keep this video <laughs> what is happening um okay so i will check in again later um i'm gonna start reading and I'll see you guys in a second. Hi everyone, I'm back. So I finished Stay With Me, so I wanted to talk about it because I loved it. Thank you for um, watching through that sunny clip that I had in the car. Um, that was really the only chance that I had to film um, on Friday, but today is Sunday and I did finish this book. I'm back home. I was visiting my family for the weekend and I had a lot of time to read it at some points, so. I finished this and I totally loved it. I gave it five stars. I would so recommend this. Such a good Christian romance with a bit of mystery and a lot of like good themes about repentance and forgiveness and grace and love. So, so good. This does follow a girl named Genevieve and she is um, a woman's Bible study author and she speaks around the country. She is a survivor of an earthquake that happened in, I forget the place, El Salvador. She and four other kids survived this earthquake, so she had a lot of like fame from that. So she took it and used it for God. She wanted to give the glory back to God, but it kind of became twisted um, as time went on. And when she broke her ankle, she was on opioids for painkillers, but she ended up becoming addicted to them. And so it's this book follows her process of becoming clean and telling her family about her addiction. And I just, I haven't read a book like this and I thought it was just done really well. And I, what I liked is that the romance isn't what saved her in the end. It was looking like the romance was going to be the thing that saved her and like kept her clean. And I was like, I don't think that's a healthy, Thing, but then it, it turned into God being the, the only one that really could save her from it. And so I really liked that. Um, the romance was totally 
adorable though. Um, Sam was her love interest and he had his own kind of messy past and he just sounded like such a dreamy guy and I, I could totally see how well they fit together. He was like so opposite from her, but they really clicked and I loved their relationship. I loved watching it. The ending with kind of the mystery going on was really, really good too. I liked how it all wrapped up and between every chapter you got snippets of different perspectives of the five kids that were stuck during this earthquake. So the next book, I, I'm guessing all the books are gonna follow the five kids. I loved it. Definitely a quick read for being kind of a bigger book and I just loved this book. It was so, so good. So definitely a top of the year. It was really good. I feel like this is Becky Wade's best book. It definitely rivals My Stubborn Heart. I think My Stubborn Heart is still my favorite just because of the subject matter, but this one, I felt like the writing and the characters were just top notch. So yeah, I wanted to just give you a little review for that. And then before I forget, um, when I went home, there was a package for me and it had come in like weeks ago, but I just had been able to get to it um, this weekend. And I don't know who sent it, but someone sent me Embraced, the devotional by Lisa Turkhurst. It's um, 100 Devotions and it's this beautiful, beautiful devotional book. And I just wanna say thank you to whoever sent this to me. And if if you're the one, I would love to know and be able to thank you. So yeah, it, it had no note, it just came in a box. and. I feel like it has to be from someone through YouTube because it was on my Amazon wish list, but it just didn't have any note and I don't know who sent it. So please tell me if you sent it because I'm so grateful. This is the most beautiful devotional I've ever seen and I'm so excited to start it. So as soon as I'm done my current one, I will jump into this one. Um, so thank you so much if you sent that to me. And that is everything. So have a great day, you guys. Heading into a new work week for me. I don't know when you'll see this video. It'll probably be midweek. But yeah, just so you know, work is pretty busy for me. So I'm still figuring out how to balance everything. But I will figure it out and YouTube will resume. I will continue to read and God is good. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.